Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about some of my favorite truck upgrades. Not really truck upgrades, but uh, additions, things that we've done to the truck since we started camping that have made life a lot easier for us. So stick around. Hey everyone, it's Scott here from Older and Wiser. Today we're going to be talking about truck upgrades and how useful they've been for us while we've been camping and just in general actually. Um, but first, I would like to let you know if you're new to the channel, we do a lot of um, videos centered around camping. It's our travel vlogs, campground reviews, product reviews, um, tips and tricks, things like that. So if that's something that's interesting to you, you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you click the bell icon, you'll get notifications whenever we put out videos like this one. Okay, so when we got this big behemoth of a truck, one of the first things that Katie said was, how am I gonna get up in there? Um, you know, some trucks are nice and they've got the steps built into the bumpers or on the side or somewhere else. Um, some of them now even have great things built into the tailgate. Uh, ours didn't, so we had to go out and find an alternative solution. What we ended up finding was this uh, little kick down retractable step. It installs to the frame, so it's nice and sturdy. And it only took me about 40 minutes or so to install. Um, if you're used to installing this kind of thing, probably take you about 15 minutes. Uh, but most people, I think under an hour for sure, could install this. No drilling or anything like that. It's just taking a couple bolts out and then bolting it back into the frame with the hardware that they gave you. It's nice and sturdy. Uh, it does say that it supports up to 300 pounds. Um, I can say it definitely supports me without any problems. And it gives you a nice um, look up into the bed. So it's, a, it's real easy to step up here. Um, you know, if you need to grab something out of the bed, you can do that. And if you want to get up into the truck, super easy to step up in here. So we have a Ram 2500, three quarter ton truck, and it sits up pretty high. So I think even for, for me, um, being taller than my wife, it's still nice to have this step here. It makes it a lot easier to get up and down um, from the truck. And it's something that she wouldn't be able to do at all without the step. Now, it was a little pricey at $250, um, about $250 if I remember right, but I think it's worth it because we use it all the time. I mean, every time we do anything in the bed of the truck, that step comes down. Um, and it is, it's really easy to, to use as a step down, makes getting down out of the truck really good and kicks back up in place super easy. We've never had it come down while we're driving. Um, I've never felt that it was unstable or unsturdy at all. It's been super solid, almost like it's part of the truck itself. So if, uh, if you don't have a built-in step and you need an easier time getting up in your truck, I highly recommend something like this. I'll put some links uh, down below and I'll let you guys check it out. Now, keep in mind, different trucks have different configurations in the back. Um, so you can see we've got a diesel and the exhaust is over here. Um, on the passenger side, so we had to get one that mounted on the driver's side rear. But if you have dual exhausts, you're not going to be able to mount this here. You're going to need a model that mounts over here by one of the, the wheel wells. But they're real good about it. They'll tell you what models and, and makes it fit, and years too. So you can make sure to pick out the right one. So one thing that I could not live without with this truck is a truck bed cover. Um, we carry a lot of things in the bed of the truck and we need to keep those things protected, not only from the elements, but from uh, snatchy hands too. So when we were researching these and figuring out what we wanted, um, unfortunately, there's nothing real, real cheap out there that was gonna do everything I wanted it to do, especially because I've got these Ram boxes. So not every truck bed cover fits well. We settled on a product called Retrax, and they make a couple different models of it. Um, we ended up going with the aluminum uh, model. There is a cheaper model that's composite. It's um, just a, a plastic and it's just as nice and strong and sturdy, but it it's not, um, doesn't hold as much weight on top. Not that that really matters one way or another, um, but on this one, it's, you can hold uh, 500 pounds on it, so we can stand up there. And the other one's limited to 200 pounds. And that's mostly for um, you know, snow weight. So you get snows on the bed of your truck, you don't want your cover falling in. They also have a model that 
supports a T-rail system. So like the Yakima brand, Thule, and things like that that have those sport racks where you can put like bike racks or kayak racks, luggage racks, things like that. They'll actually um, have bars here on the side and then you can run your crossbars and mount stuff over on top of that. I would have loved to get that model for all the extra storage and things that you can do, but they don't make it for um, compatible with the RAM boxes. So something else to think about, uh, but I, I would have definitely paid the extra money for that. They also have a power version, so it's a, a little key fob remote that will actually retract and um, close the, or I'm sorry, will open and close the, the cover for you. Uh, that's a lot more expensive and I didn't see the need for it, although I could see some useful applications for it. I don't regret not getting it. Ours is manual. And the thing that I love the most about it, or I think the thing that was most important was the fact that it does lock into place. So you've got this little paddle here that comes up and, and this is it locked now. You can't, you can't move it. This thing's not going anywhere. Um, but unlock it, paddle pops up and it just rolls back. And this is a kind that slides back or rolls up into itself. There is a little box up here at the front that, um, that it retracts or rolls into. So you do lose a little bit of bed space with a cover like this. I think the, the trade-off is worth it though for what you get. Now this thing will close and lock in any position that you want it to be in. And that's another really super useful thing about it. So if I only want it, if I only want it halfway open, um, I can put it right here, close it down, and I can lock it here, and this thing's not going anywhere. So you can drive around like this all day long. I found a lot of people like this when they have their um, fifth wheel hitches in there, that they can slide this back to a certain point, get the camper hooked up, and then they've still got a little bit of covered bed. I really like it for when we have um, larger items that we want to store and secure in the back when we're carrying stuff around. Um, like one of Malcolm's bikes or his little Power Wheels uh, ATV Raptor thing, because it does sit up above, above this. But I can lock it back here. This all stays covered. And I know that, that this is secure. Nobody's getting in. My um, tailgate locks. So when this is completely closed and locked, it's secure. It's like a trunk. Nobody's getting in there. So I can leave stuff in here like a generator and know that it's probably not gonna get stolen. I mean, they'll have to work pretty hard to get to it. Speaking of generators, that's another great use case for this. I can open this up just enough to give my generator some breathing room, have a cord running out of here, and not worry about it walking off at the campground. The only drawbacks to these, um, and this really applies way more to the model with the RAM boxes, is they're not completely waterproof or watertight. Um, there are some drainage hoses in the front so that what's supposed to happen is the little bit of water that does get in, especially back here at the box, will drain out underneath the truck. The problem is with the RAM boxes, because you have to account for these things flipping up, it's not completely flush or sealed right here. So we do find that we get a little bit of water just in the edges of the bed of the truck. Usually these first two grooves here will, will have a little bit of water. Anything in the center is almost always bone dry, even after a really hard rain. Now, everything that I've read and heard about the options or the models that don't have to deal with the RAM boxes, those are almost completely watertight. Um, I wouldn't say they're waterproof because I don't think that's how they get marketed, but your stuff will stay pretty dry, I think, even in a hard rain. So the biggest drawback is really gonna be the cost. Um, I have the aluminum model, which is a little bit more expensive. It retails for about 1800 bucks. Um, I was able to pick it up for about 1700 with professional installation, but it was an open box model at the Ram dealer. So I got lucky there. Now, if you check different places, they'll have it for different costs. You can find a better deal. Um, but right now the standard aluminum runs about $1,800 and the composite runs about $1,200. So I'll put some links below so you guys can check out the different models and options that they have. And I'll put a couple different retailers in there as well so you can do a little price shopping. Overall, I'm really happy with it. I don't think there's another product quite like it, um, at least not with the level of quality that this one has. So even though it is pricey, I think, I think it's worth the money. I, I think you definitely get what you pay for. 
So two other quick upgrades that we did um, after we got the truck that I think have been super beneficial. Uh, the first one is having this spray and bed liner. Uh, we went and did a Linex spray. I'm not sure how nationwide they are, um, but I know they're, they're pretty prevalent around the Midwest. I think we paid $450 for it. Your costs will vary depending on um, what kind of sales they have on and how much bed spray you need. But I mean, we have put this bed through the ringer and there is not a scratch at all. And they actually offer a lifetime guarantee. So if you actually manage to scratch this thing up, they'll respray it, fix it, whatever they need to do to make it right. Um, so this is awesome. Okay, I've been super happy with our spray and bed liner. The other thing that's been a lifesaver for us has been these Husky all-weather mats that fit in. Uh, the great thing about them is that they are contoured to your specific um, vehicle. So they fit real snug in there and they will hold in all the slush, the mud, the dropped apple juices and everything else, um, the dog vomit that has happened uh, over the, the last year or so in a truck. And uh, it's been real easy to clean. I mean, most of the time you can just wipe it right out and um, other times you just pull it out, you can hose them off, no big deal. Um, I think they're gonna last for the, probably as long as we keep the truck. So those have been the ones that have been useful for us. Um, I want you guys to leave me a comment below and let me know if I've missed anything. Are there any upgrades that I need in my life that I haven't had yet? So um, let us know. I know Katie's shaking her head. She's like, no, we don't need to spend any more money on this goofy truck. But yes, let me know what else I need to do to spend money on this truck and make things useful for us. Um, I hope it was uh, informative for you guys. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment below. I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And again, check the description below. I'll have links to all sorts of stuff as well. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time, we will see you later and safe travels.